Yo, uh, I don't know how I'm gonna hold my phone. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, I haven't made a YouTube video. Few days. Um, not doing great, but not doing bad by any means. By any means, I'm not doing bad. Uh, I would say right now I'm like teetering in the middle of a bunch of shit. I it feels a little bit confusing. The confusing thing right now is like for example for the you know I'll tell you the the confusing thing right now is there's like three things that I'm or well, four things that I'm pushing time in between and I'm not and I'm not uh, I spend most of my day asleep I'll tell you the three activities that I do right now it's sleeping it's the number one the second would be watching YouTube and the third is eating and these are the three activities and then when absolute necessary I open the laptop and I do a little bit of work but that is it so right now we are basic survival mode which is lame a bit lame. I'm pushing a lot on the clothing people to get stuff done. Um, I feel, uh, yeah, I'm pushing a lot to get stuff done, but uh, and stuff's been shipped, and I'm waiting to receive some of it, but it's like. And then this is a holdover from before. Uh, but like my AD, I don't, God, I don't identify with ADHD or whatever. It's just, I'm like, this is what happens with a lot of things. It's like, well, I'll be into it for like two months. That's like the longest, and I'll be into something for like two months hard, and then I'm, and then I'm personally done, and then we're into something else. Uh, you know, I want to just dive head in, head head uh, head and shoulders into something else. And I leave everything behind. So, like, it, for example, specifically, like right now, I need to make this website. I've been saying I was going to make this website for literally a month, and I haven't for the for the one client it's just dumb i just don't know why you know it's just it sucks to make it i'm gonna have just have to sit down and do it and it just sucks ass it just sucks it just sucks and it's just without it's just pure no dopamine just none it just sucks and it's just you know i just we really have to do it but it's just it's just ass and we try to you try to sweeten it that is just, is just booty. It's just, it just sucks. Hey, so there's that. Um, that thing sucks. Uh, sewing right now. There's like four projects. There's four projects that are sitting out there, and I could get them. I could get. By the way, everything could be done in three days, four days max, maximum. Productive, like highly productive, four days. Everything on my list is completely done. Everything. No exceptions. Everything is done. Everything's completely clear. And I just focus on learning Chinese, learning uh, 3D fashion design online, modifying my patterns, just switch, complete switch. 180, 120, we move. Over like one week. And maybe I just... You know, I just need to set up that week. I it's like it's you know, and you know, um, I'm about to go back to Thailand, so I'm gonna try to use that as a pivot, as a nice push, because what we're going to you know we basically have a month left here, something around a month, and you know we gotta travel next week. Or two weeks from now, we got to go to uh, 
we got to go to Cleveland for a wedding. Love that. I haven't been to a wedding in a long time. You know, we got to go to Cleveland for a wedding. And then I have two weeks left. So we have a limited amount of time left here in the States for now. Probably going to be gone for like five, six months. So, you know, number one, I don't, you know, for some reason, you know, Also, you know, one of the things that I'm planning on doing right now, uh, probably got to spec it out a little bit, but like urban camping, can I fucking, what is possible in Cleveland? You know, what levels of wilding can I possibly do? I don't know. I don't know. I want to, I want to play with it. I want to do a little urban camping. I don't want to, I don't want, I don't want to spend money on a hotel personally. I don't think I'm going to. If anything, if hopefully, you know, all this stuff is close-ish enough to, you know, maybe I can find some, I'll find woods, I'll find a fucking park, and we're just going to fucking tamper down, you know, and I hope that he has homelessness, you know, anyway, so, it's Cleveland it is pretty north, though, it might, be, it might get cold, but I'm not really, if anything, you go to the airport, and you shack up at the airport, and that's fine. You know, or the bus station. But I would probably go to the airport. We'd go to the airport, we'd be in there. Um, but there's black people in Cleveland, and uh, I don't like black But the airport should be safe. Now, the question would be, is the Uber to the airport, you know, just we had to spec that out. Is the Uber to the airport back and forth? Like, what's the deal with that? Uh, what's the damage? You know. But I think we, that's what we're going to... So, anyway, that's just something else. We're going to just be roughing it. And I film that. Just... We're going to be roughing it. Just in the gutter. Roughing it. You know. Sorry, I just had a, uh, I can't really <laughs> say what I had a vision about. That's kind of ridiculous. Uh, just a cop harassing me in the in the airport. Um, I don't know why that came up. Anyway, no reason. Okay, yeah. Uh, so there's it's so fucking random as shit. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it's a little bit, and there's a little bit of confusion when it comes to the branding of the thing that I'm doing. You know, because what where's the the connecting point between rompers, Western shirts, and Han Fu, Chinese traditional clothing? What's the through line? Through line could be peacocking. But as a brand, what the fuck? You know, I guess as a costume thing, I I guess we can push a costume angle. You know, that's something I'm I'm thinking is like we can go extrovert costuming, something like that. And the angle is kind of, it's not cosplay necessarily, because, but it's not cosplay at all, but it's, it's just, ugh, because the Hanfu is just so random, right? And I would, but I would bring in other cultures. I think I would bring in other cultures and it would just be, the idea would be just, what's the highest level, you know, because even wearing some of the traditional clothings in many cultures, even Nigerian 
like some of that shit, you know, you're peacocking now. You know, if you wear that purple gold fit with the, you know what I mean? With the, you know, it's, but everybody's peacock. But out of context, you peacocking like shit, right? So that would be the through line. It would be peacocking now. I just, is it, and I think I should probably menswear it. I think I should menswear. I think I should close it down. It's menswear, man. It's men. It's menswear. I think I should menswear it. It's already menswear, but let's just, I think we got to menswear it. And it's probably going to be cost, like costuming menswear. Is that even costuming ones, menswear? I, cause you know, one of the thing, one of the terms that I, that people have been saying, I kind of want to, I kind of want to embrace it. It's the idea that, you know, you're not doing fashion. It's, it's a costume. You're like doing it. And I'm like, well, and is that even, do you know, is that even a bad thing? Like, I, you know, part of, you know, I don't know. Halloween is one of the most fun holidays. But one of the things about Halloween is like everybody, first of all, everybody buys a cheap polyester fucking bullshit and throws it away. That same, you know, maybe they wear the same thing every year. It's garbage. Um, but one of the things about Halloween is like, you know, to me, to be defeat, defeats the point is like everybody dresses up. So you're not sticking out. You're not doing it. It's just you're, of course, you can wear an outfit that's, you know, pushing it. But it's like, you know, you're in context. Uh, and I like to take, I, I want to break, ooh, hmm, out of context. I like that. I like that even. At, but see, I come up, <laughs> come up with all these ideas for fucking either collections or brandings or whatever, like out of context. Love that concept of a, as a, as a, as a collection, like out of context, like divorcing clothing from their original, what they're originally known for. And, you know, just wearing it out. Like immediately my thought for that would be, you know, how can we, how can we play with the idea of the apron? Like we fuck with the idea of an apron. How can we fuck with the idea? Can we make an elevated overall? Is that even a thing? Can we make an elevated overall? Or can we just like a, a velvet overall? Can we push it? Can we do a velvet coverall? Uh, we probably could do velvet coverall, but not slim fit. Let's do a velvet coverall. Like it's supposed to cover all your shit. Let's do a velvet zip up coverall. That's a fit. Uh, you know, what else? I mean, out of context. Contextless. You know, what's... Uh, There's like fur, maybe like doing things with fur that, you know, fur is associated with the cold, like fucking with fur a little bit. Can we play with fur? Can we, can we, you know, wild? Can we, uh, can we have a fur bond? Like, uh, can we have a, a silk fur scarf, like handkerchief thing, where like one side is kind of, Interesting. Where one side is kind of lined with the fur. It's a triangle. It's like almost a portable hood. But instead of like a handkerchief, like it would be like a triangle. Like if you fold a handkerchief in half, you have like a long, you have like a triangle. And instead of just, you know, because usually you have to like fold it in half and do all this shit. It would just be a very big triangle. And the part, the long part, the hypotenuse would be f fur, like lined with, like it would have fur trim. And then you could basically, but the, but it would, the, the fur trim would uh, end before you get to the end of the, uh, the hanker, the, the, you know, the scarf thing. So basically you would be able to like tie, you know, you would put it around your head and you'd be able to tie underneath without, you know, obviously being encumbered by the fur. We'd probably have to play with different 
size heads. I mean, that's a fucking, I don't know what size, that's not even a measurement that I'm familiar with. I don't think people do that, but I would, it would be big. It would be big and I don't, yeah. So that would be interesting. It would be interesting. And maybe even replaceable, you know. Okay, just randomized thoughts like that. Like that's a weird one. You know, a convert. You could make it convertible as well. Like you could just have the silk, but you could have a zip off fur, and then you could just could be kind of be portable, just like portable for no for no reason. You know, portable for no reason. That's another. Uh, you know, we're just portable. It's another uh, collection. Um, you know. Maybe we peacock, you know, I like the idea, you know, cause it's not a brand. It's like, I like the idea of it being my little, my little, my little play vehicle. But is that, does that work as a brand? You know, cause I have like, if we have the Western stuff, do you know what I mean? Now there's an edge, there's an angle to the Western clothing that I haven't really even fully tapped. Like even to be honest, like the creativity that we're de that we're in with the Western stuff is just not we're not quite we don't we're not quite hitting where I want to be. I had this vision because I've seen a lot of embroidery. I had this vision of, uh, you know, it's like like water, water splashing around. You know the the Western shirt maybe like one of the styles it has like the triangle, the triangle and the triangle. Basically, I had this video, just like water, uh, you know, embroidered water like sloshing in almost a con almost a container, and like even spilling outside of the bounds of that 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 yoke on purpose, obviously, you know. Um, now, fucking, how to manufacture that? Fuck me, you know, no fucking idea, right? But. Uh, you know, just says that 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 type that's the level of idea like that vibe, where or or maybe we maybe it's not splashing outside of its container, but it's you know complete embroidery kind of filling the thing, and it's like water, and it's like you know splashing up. Maybe it has a boat, just like an absolute. Do you know what I mean? It's like full. It's a fully a fucking thing up there, you know, because it's. You know, because we, we're playing with the fabric. We have, like, different fabric up top. But, like, let's, like, and play with the embroidery. And not some pushy shit where we just add, like, the patchwork embroidery. I mean, real fucking full. The whole thing, my nigga. The whole fucking thing, you know? whole fucking thing. Done up. Done up. You know, that's the vision. That's the idea. Like, the whole thing done up. No... And then it's just, I want a flower. No, the full, the fucking, a bear running in the forest, like a full thing. Cause almost it's, it could even part of the idea is like this, you know, clothing as a, you know, first of all, I mean, art in our form, but it's like even playing with, cause people get these, people get tattoos and the tattoos are permanent, right? It's like forever. And you get this piece of art on you. Love that. Love the permanence. Love the... At the same time. I just have a commitment problem. I just... We're not... We're not committing. We're not committing. That's just... So we're not committing. And because we're not committing... That's a beautiful... You know, the clothing is a way of... That it's a dabble. It's a, you know, it's and maybe that's part of my issue. Maybe we should be committing a little bit more. Maybe we should get a couple more tattoos. But the clothing is a is a we can we can play with absolute fucking sh chicanery. I don't know what words I'm. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. But we can do. We can. We can do something. You know, and that's part. Yeah, so that's part of it. Cause like we we're working on, you know, we have a suppliers working on Western shirts. We have another supplier that just sent me Chinese traditional clothing. Uh, we have a supplier making a sample of a romper again. 
um, like boho, you know, it's like a boho style. And it's, it's like cohesively, like, does this all make sense? No, I don't think it does in a way. But if, I guess if I, if I embrace that, you know, we're probably gonna get into trouble. Oh, we're getting into trouble because people are gonna say, I know what they're gonna say. I, I'm waiting for it. I'm excited for it. But the, the appropriation conversation is going to come up um, at some point. It's going to come up specifically with uh, it's going to come up with the Chinese stuff. One hundred percent. I know it's going to come and I'm ready for it, I think. But yeah, my culture is not your costume. I know it's just that, that sentence. I know it's going to come. I'm ready. You know, I'm ready. You know, and it is your culture is my costume. And but like, you know what I mean? Let's all have fun. Right. You know what I mean? It's not, first of all, wearing a culture as a costume. It's, what are we doing? What are we talking about? We're wearing clothes. You know, clothes, we're wearing clothes. It's, and to whatever extent, it's an appreciation of, you know, the, the original idea and the creator and the thing behind the clothes. And, uh, you know, do we need to know the full lore and all that? No, not really. We could just enjoy the clothing for what it is. And, you know, so, but I know that that conversation is going to come. And also, I mean, in another way, you know, the people that talk about Western clothes, like, are we, like, you know, I am, we are one, everybody who was wearing Western clothes, like, we're all LARPing, right? We're no, no one is riding horses. Who's riding, who's even seen a horse? I've seen a horse, but like, what are we even talking about here? You know what I mean? It's like, who's riding horses? Who's, who's touching cows? I have, no, nobody. Who has goats? Nobody. Um, so, you know, it's the prairie. I don't know. I, who has a six string band banjo? I don't. Nobody. So, but we're not, you know, we're playing. We're playing. And I don't even know what culture rompers are. Really, rompers, you know, the onesies is probably, you know, if we take the coveralls, I mean, I, I would like to make my own. I would like to have a coverall. I would like to have a coverall because just from comfort standpoint, uh, I would like to have a coverall. Like a fur coverall. For a cover, I would go crazy. Um, but none of these, none of these, none of these, um, none of these supplies are serious. You know what I mean? None of them are serious. But I, I would like to have a fur cover. On. I should talk to. I should start talking to them because there's a fur supplier, and they have real fur over there, which is kind of crazy. They have fox fur, and mink fur. I'm pretty sure that's you know what I mean. Questionable, legal. It's not legal, but it's like you know, killing a lot of foxes for that shit. They got fox fur. They got they got real fur and they got fake fur. You know we're probably gonna go dabble with the with the fake fur, but you know I'm looking at the real. I'm looking at the real fur. Anyway, no. Um, just you know, luxury wise, you know, it's just an interesting. I want to know if it feels different. Um, uh, but yeah, we should manufacture something. So yeah, as you can, yeah, there's a lot of um, a lot of stuff going on, but I would be, you know, but the biggest thing is like, uh, is my four days, you know, it's it's if I can, and this weekend, right? We have we have, today is Friday, tomorrow Saturday, the next day Sunday. I'm going to get off of this. I'm going to post this because who gives a shit. Um, I never post. I wish I would post like uh, curated, beautiful videos, but uh, it's just not gonna happen uh, for now. I'm gonna get off this. I'm gonna post this, and and I'm gonna put together my cl clear, my clear conscious conscience, my clear con, my palate. I need to clear the palate. We need to clear. I need to clear the palate. We need it completely clean, okay? Well, I need to put together my clear palette plan for for the weekend. Uh, and we're just gonna do it because I gotta because we, we gotta enter because we, we're in the we're in the home stretch. We got a month left. We gotta push because it would be a blessing to focus on only you know digital fashion just content planning ideas i don't i should be making content at this point but whatever 
Like, it would be just be a it would be wonderful to be just focused on on the like branding, you know, just sitting with it. On the branding, on the on on it just be it would be wonderful to just and you know and and the website's done and then we could just move forward and then when things come up we can we could deal with them really in that moment because that's what I like to, I like to deal with things things come up and especially in the especially in the in the other businesses with the construction and then with the therapy business like and then with the other with the with the Google, Facebook ads business it's like when things come up I will I love to deal with them I like to deal with them Boom, done. Boom, 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 done. One hour. Boom, done. You know, I like to deal with them. I don't, I don't like things sitting on my on my docket. And if they have to sit on my docket, that's it can be fine. But just it has to get done whenever I say it's gonna get done, because it just it hurts me to it hurts me to have. It's been a month. It's been a month. And even for me personally, to have these personal projects of me cutting out all this stuff, I cut out all the fabric for all these projects one month ago. It could have been done in, again, like one week. And it was one month ago. It was August 17th. It's like today is August. I believe it's August 14th. Like, that's insane. Do you understand me? That's, un that's in no, today's August 16th. Like literally a month today, like actually insane. Insane behavior, right? It's not, I'm not okay with that. I'm not okay with putting something on my to-do list. And then one month later, it gets checked off. That's just not cool. Cause it, and there's no need for it, you know? Um, there's no need for it, truly. So, but, and um, I don't know how I'm going to tackle. Uh, I was watching this video. This guy had a good thing. I mean, he's correct. You know what? Because I, I already know what I need to do. I already know. I already know, right? Uh, you know, overall, what do I need to do? Like, um, I need to stop probably oh you know even hard turkey it cold turkey it i need to stop uh the consumption of uh media of all types it's too good um i need to like kind of cold turkey a lot of dopamine shit and it's probably gonna suck and it's good like right now it's you know it's and it's easy not to buy stuff like right now i don't know the bonsai I, this is sparkling water i love it's so good and I'm not going to buy anymore. You know, we have to, it's this thing of, I don't know, just satisfying my immediate, you know, thing, right? It's the immediate thing of like, I need, uh, yeah, like I feel bad. I need to sleep, you know, and I, and I use sleep because most of the time if I need to, I don't need to sleep, bro. You know, back in the day, I just would power through it, but like, I have the power now, like just economically and just and with business and everything. I have the time flexibility to like fuck off with everything. I can fuck off, and and that's not good for me I, overall because it's like I would love to. Um, I would love to say that I'm like if you give me the the line, I can uh, you know. Um, you know, execute with with uh, without somebody breathing down my neck. But you know, I need I maybe I need the threat. You know, it's like I don't want somebody behind me, but I need somebody checking in. But I don't, I don't like. I it's something like even there was a guy that kind of offered this to me a little bit. It's just I don't. But even the artificial. Uh, like that's a different, I don't, it's like, I don't even, you know what I mean? I don't, I got annoyed, <laughs> you know, which, you know, it's like, that's the point, I guess. But it's like, it's like, I got annoyed. Like he said, like, did you get that website done? I was like, who are you? Leave me alone. <laughs> and, you know, cause one of my friends was like, I'll, I'll, I'll help you out. And I was like, yeah, sure. You know, whatever. He's like, did you get the thing done? And I was like, I saw a text and I was like, I'm not gonna respond to that and you know why you know there's a um an indignance a a uh, 
Like, I'm too good for... Like, I'm better than people or something. Like, you know, you can't tell me what... To, I don't know. There's something going on there. But we all know what we need to do, right? We all know what we need to do. And for me... Um, for me, I just... Uh, you know, I think I think it's going to be taking a step back from all of my uh, consumptive behavior, um, specifically YouTube. And it's and it's, I don't, you know, you know, I started that day to be fair, like I started a little bit yesterday. I started like learning uh, the digital fashion program. I started I started a little bit of Chinese a couple of days ago again. You know, I started again. You know, I think I skipped yesterday, but like started. Right. It's like. Just got to keep going, but hardest part about it is starting, but, you know. But just the sweet meaninglessness of everything. It's just, it's, it's tough. <laughs> it was tough. Right. It's tough. Um, it's really a strange world. It's just a strange thing to to. It's a strange thing to care. It's it's a weird world because it's like I I you know. The biggest, you know, and the biggest issue is that I don't care. That's the biggest issue. The biggest issue is I don't care. Right. It's like if I had a successful brand tomorrow like it would be better you know it would be like more interesting maybe to have like to be directing more things and uh, it would just yeah it would be, could be better but it's uh it's like is it better than me right now sleeping no no is it better than me right now being a vegetable no 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 no, is it better than me right now laying down on the ground? Like, no, not really, no. It's, no. So it's, just, that's like the tough, is it like, it's like the balancing, it's the risk, it's the reward mechanism. It's like balancing that back out to like, and, and, and you know, back in the day, and I don't know how I did this, it was, because I wanted, it was like with women, right? It's like, I wanted to have a girlfriend so bad. I wanted to like, not necessarily a girlfriend, but you know, I mean, eh, I want, you know, I wanted to have girls so bad, so bad. And I would just, every single day, I would watch these videos of all these different guys. And, you know, these, and, and I just like over and over. And it took me like, probably, I remember the, um, I watched videos for probably like a month. And then when I went to my first internship, it was like something just clicked. And I was like, I'm all, I'm in there. I'm done. Yeah, I'm I'm you know what I mean? I was just like, I'm him. No, I think I even I even uh no I no I I watched videos for longer. Like I, I think I tried like the first day I remember one of the first days I saw like the simple pickup videos I tried. But um I don't know the, I don't know the full timeline of all that shit. Just you know, but I, I, I had it in my head because I just constantly saw those guys. And one of the things with, with picking up girls or talking to girls is like the reward is like immediate, basically. You know, if you go outside tomorrow and talk to a girl, like shh, you can get a phone, you can get a phone number. Back in the day, phone numbers meant more. Instagrams meant more. Now it's now I mean it probably means just as much to the right people, you know what I mean? Um just to me you know, I just have zero follow through and, and probably, you know, basically zero intent when I meet people. So it's just like I don't really care to see them again or talk to them or do anything really ever you other than talk to them right there in that moment. And I think that energy goes across a little bit and so I don't have any intent and, uh, and that, that, that falls through, but, uh, hmm. but I, yeah, just, and people would say, yeah, if you don't care, 
like obviously like people are more attracted to you, but it's like no, I like I don't even want. It's not a, it's because I do, I do care. Um, I'm on one. It's uh, it's paradoxes. Um, but no, for for women, for talking to girls, there's like an immediate benefit. All the is immediate benefit. You just you automatic like you go out tomorrow. You go out. You watch a bunch of videos right now. You, you go outside. You talk to twenty women like. You probably can kiss somebody. You could probably do something. Like, you have the immediate gratification. And that's the beautiful thing about that field. It's just an immediate gratification. Fucking immediate. Just, you know. Where, and, and, but it depends on your goal. And my goal was that immediate gratification. So, because that was my goal, I fucking got my goal. Now, because, like, and, you know, this is an interesting point because, like, now my goal is, like, successful business. Like, the there is no, there's less, there is basically no immediate gratification in learning this little software or even, um, or even sewing this one shirt or, like, going out and trying to sell this one shirt. It's like, there's nothing in, the, in it for me because there, there's no, because uh, I'm trying to do this big thing this monster thing and like so selling that shirt does fuck all like selling that shirt for a hundred dollars like does fuck all right hundred you know what i mean does it build the brand does it do anything it's just a hundred bucks which i guess i pay back some of the investment but it's like who cares so my um and this is an issue that uh i've talked about with my online <laughs> No, um, this is an online guy called Dr. K that I've been uh, watching. He had this video that was like masterful. He talks about this was basically like, you know, he's talking about Dukkha and Dharma and all this. I don't know what all that stuff. I I still don't know the full thing, but he was talking about like, you know, in the Hindu, in the, in the Buddhist philosophy, there's something called Dukkha, Dukkha, or something, it's, whatever it is, it's called purpose, and it's like living your purpose, and people always talk about living their purpose, but, you know, a lot of it, people are searching for purpose with a capital P, if you know, and, but in order to capital P, per, like capital P purpose comes from doing the other, th- all the things, taking care of yourself, taking care of your life, and, you know, building blocks, and capital P purpose appears when you're doing all the right things, but, uh, you know, if I, if you're showering, if you're working out, if you're going, I don't know if you're learning the software as you're supposed to be learning, you know what I mean, it's, you know what you need to do, the like capital P purpose appears, but um, when you're doing the basic shit, but the issue is, like, you know, because I see the P, capital I see a cap. I don't even know if it's the the actual one, maybe, but it's like I see a big thing, and I'm like, fuck, you know, it's like hey, it's that thing over there, and you know, the little things that you do on a daily basis, like they do nothing. There's really nothing in 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 context of um of that capital P. Um, but I do see, um, I do see, well, just going back to my little vision, I do see as a, as a men's costuming or as a costuming service or as a, if you want to call it like that, I do see something like a high quality, you know, costuming where, you know, it's like. Can you imagine? Cause like, can you imagine if we outfit a whole bachelor party, a Hanfu nigga? Ah, shit. How, how hard would that be? That would be fucking. I would go so hard. Or if we outfit a whole group with the full Western, get with the full Western. You know what I mean? Everyone's fitted the fuck down. We got a different. Everybody's a different. You know what I mean? Um. Or if we had a whole, you know, Nigerian, uh, you know, whatever. Um. Uh, uh, I see, you can see the vision, but I see that little, I'm less so. Um, 
just because it's too it's too it hits too close like china chinese culture is so foreign and even, it's just so foreign to hear that it's a fit you know what i mean um western is like the way that i would do it like we push it to the end and then it becomes a fit to me a little bit like the i don't know if you can really the muslim and indian fits like those those go hard but um i don't know if you could really make them i mean you can make anything work right of course but yeah i don't know i don't know about those um I played with the the idea of it. I have a Muslim fit. My favorite one, to be honest. Uh, my favorite outfit that I own. It's just comfortable shit. But can we make it work? Um, I got to get off this. I got to get off this. Um, is there anything else on the way out? Yeah, that's just... So, you know, for me, the next... Like, again, in light... Like, the, one of the things is like, okay, no capital P, you know. No, no, I guess there is a brand, there is a big brand, but it's like, it's all, it's all like, hey, listen, all we're doing is I'm making clothes for the homies in local regions and we are making fits, we're getting fitted. Um, I need to, uh, probably, I need to at some point, I need to start making money back because I'm spending way too much. Thousands of dollars, bro. Um, we need to start making money back. Yeah. I don't think we, we have a, uh, I don't think we have a cohesive. I think costuming could be the idea, but I don't want to, I don't want to do custom stuff because I don't have, you know, we don't have the labs or the capabilities right now. It's like, I want to do, I do want to do, um, we're probably getting into like wholesale costuming, probably, possibly. But like, again, we're not doing polyester bullshit. Like, it's got to be high quality. Yeah, anyway, that's it. Um, so that's it. Uh, yeah, I'll watch this back someday. That's what, yeah, so I need to, it's kind of like D dopamine, D whatever the fuck, like lower lowercase p purpose, run shit. Uh, I need to, you know, we need to get basics, um, uh, again. I mean, I saw the same stuff as before. I feel like I've, I mean, I've said everything a hundred times that I've, I know everything, right? It's, it's like, it's, uh, it's the thing. We're in a rut. We're in a rut. We're in a rut. But, you know, the good thing about my life, I guess, right now in general is just that I have these, uh, I have like distinctive markers every fucking, you know, few months. You know, it's like, I have to go to Thailand. So like, we're going to Thailand. I have like a month left. So we have like a marker. So now I have to like step it into fucking gear. We got a month left. And then when we go to Thailand, it's like, we kind of reset again, right? We get a chance to like reset the lifestyle. We're waking up at a certain time of day. In Thailand, especially, I'm probably going to be going into an office for a little bit of the day. And so it's like, everything's, it's just going to be kind of reset, different game, different everything, right? So... It's just, so it's good. We're set up for success. You know, it's it's hard to be in a rut when we have stuff like this. So like America is just, maybe it's, America's a little bit too comfortable, <laughs> which is a good problem maybe. And it's a bad problem. It's comfortable. I can just fuck off here, right? No oversight. So, you know, Thailand, I got a little bit more oversight. So it's like, all right, I got to go into the office. I got to do some shit, so... You know, we gotta uh we gotta move a little bit and um and we're gonna improve and and uh, that's it so cheers